Oh, my head. I should not have drank so much last night. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, never mind, dude. I'm still... I was celebrating last night for, um, something for my brother, so I'm a little tired. Okay. So why are you recording right now? Don't you worry about it, okay? I'm fine. All right, I'm fine. There's a lot of hungry lumens out there in space. Those guys have huge appetites. Drink like these starbits you can. You're gonna need them. Right. Yeah, I'll get the starbits. Besides, something I would probably like doing more than go out into space when I'm feeling down, sick, whatever. You know, look at the stars. It can actually be kind of nice. It can actually help you, you know, appreciate how small you are. Uh, dude? Sorry. Anyway, Puzzle Plant Galaxy. We're doing the puzzling picture book. Anyway, um, <clears throat> welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. This is your host, the MJ406, and I swear I'm fine. We're going to be doing some more pounding puzzles and all the other stuff here at Puzzle Plant Galaxy. It's time for us to explore even more of the galaxies and hunt down more of the power stars. There's a lot less story to this Wild Galaxy game, but honestly, that's kind of what I like about it. We just keep things moving. More just get to wonder about the mysteries of space, rather than feeling like I'm gonna have to... I don't know! Actually expect to uncover something or learn about somebody's past, like Rosalina. There's nothing like that this time around. Here's him! You wanna see it? Been out of ground power to see how? I don't need to know, but... Here you go! God damn it! You stupid! So yeah, in case you don't remember how to ground pound, jump and press Z, and you can ground pound switches like that. Use your ground pound to stop enemies. Just press Z when you're in midair. This first time you actually need to know how to ground pound, so I see why they did it this way. And a little restarted. Nice. <laughs> it is kind of weird they didn't realize that that's the way to grind star bits. I guess it just naturally wanted to have the level reset to assert to its beginning state when you um yeah actually activated these tutorials. <laughs> it's either them being very generous or them not realizing something so simple. I also think we just now to realize I don't get lives until I get a hundred um coins or do I get. I didn't even check up to this point. Did I get a... Oh, God. That was a little helpful there. I say, I don't know if I get lives for 100 Starbits or not. Let's play it double time! Dang, I wanted to play that whole theme in double time. That was fun. <laughs> oh, but enough about the fun and the music. Oh, let me reach... Oh. Of course, it wouldn't let me reach it. Oh, yeah. It looks like this is the, um, game that Super Mario, um, 3D Land got the inspiration for some of its buzzsaw ideas. Because this game definitely has some buzzsaws. I think it's a puzzle plague galaxy, so I would expect as such. Ooh, look at all these coins. Well, I know exactly what the loom is here for. Hmm. Although, now I think about it, I'm gonna try to go through the whole... I'm gonna do this whole galaxy like normal. And then I'm gonna come back and do this. I can definitely tell I'm gonna need a lot of coins for this. So, yeah, I just wanna see what happens if I actually, you know, ignore the, um, extra mission first, and then come back for it the second time around. I just wanna see how it looks at the menu for my own benefit. Just so I don't have to frickin' theorize about it, I could just know firsthand. Yeah, what's something you guys like to do when you're feeling a little, like, sick or down? And again, video games is another one of those things I do. It helps me feel, you know, I say better about myself. No, not, not in that kind of sense. Not in a pathetic sense. Like, I guess I would say wind down, but more like, you know, if you're actually feeling... I don't know. If you don't feel like your usual self, there's something that you do to help you get back to that usual self of yours. That is what Mario games tend to be for me. They help me relax a little more and help me... Yeah, man, now the buzzsaws are going to the stage away. They help me, you know... 
help me feel like back I did during my youth? Is that the way I want to phrase it? I don't know if that is. But either way, there's a reason why I play video games a lot, and Mario games are some of the easiest ones for me to go, come back to to help me relax. They remind me of my younger days, and they... Well, if I'm not always feeling in a bright mood, they can help me... They can help brighten my mood. I love these so much. Mario games tend to be magical experiences for me that most games can't match. I mean, come on. There's a reason why I'm always having Super Mario Super Marathons. It's the second time I'm doing it. It sounds so stupid that it had happened more than once. <laughs> There's a reason for it. That's all that needs to be said. I'm not wasting my star bits on you. There's nothing important happening here. What, you think there's gonna be a boss? Look! It's just a puzzle with these freaking flanks that they need to pound in. That's all this is. It's not even much of a puzzle, dude. I don't remember one for doing jigsaw pieces, or sliding puzzles for that matter. I mean, my, my family's always into jigsaws. We used to do it all the time we go on vacation. I was just never a big fan of it myself. Oh, wait, no, it's this boss again. Yeah, calling it a boss is a bit of a stretch. But yep, it behaves exactly the way it did in the first game. You bet you killed my son again! What do you mean again? You're not the same one, are you? Okay, you do get a life for 100 star bits. Then again, they gave more lives plentifully. Alright, so, official knowledge I have now. Now you get lives for every 50. You get 100 star bits and 100 coins after you get back. Gets you a life. I think they made 50 in the first Mario Galaxy, so they toned down on that a bit. Which, honestly, the rule sounds more proper this way. And... With all the lives they give you anyway. You don't need all those lives. <laughs> uh, it would be nice to have. Oh yeah, where I said, said we opened up everything about the mechanics of Yoshi. You got to see how full he was. I lied, there's more to it, actually. Hey, who there's a few changes in the world map. Let's check it out. There is a few changes in the world map. What's that supposed to mean? I took it back with you, right? You sure love delivering mail. Oh no, not the mail toad. Oh crap. Oh crap. Are my bills due? Oh shit. Go ahead and humor him. Maybe he's got something for you. Humor him. Yeah, the post service is going out of business. Get out of here. Dude, I'm trying to actually think about working with the post service. They need it. Plus, it's decent government pay. Hey, Mario! I decided to start delivering mail! And my first letter is for you! Yes, you get mail throughout the game. Mario, I'm very far away right now, but I'm okay. I know you will come save me. P.S. I've attached something to this letter. I hope it will be useful. So, yep, letters to Peach again. Thanks, me to good. What up, Mushroom in your letter? Aw, Yuji's get out, Princess. is so thoughtful. Well, come see you next time. It's a mail delivery. So, yeah, get that again. I think it can also be five lives. It's just not as generous as it was before. I talked to you, right? I think I did. But you want to quit, press minus or plus, do you save and quit a long trip like this? Might be a good idea. Yeah, 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 whatever you say. Don't tell me what to do! I can save and quit on my own way, too. Okay, here's your overall world map they give you now. That's what it is. This is the grand world map. With the power of the grand star, we can travel great distances across space and time. We can travel to another world whenever you're ready, Captain. So here you have a big galactic map. The grand world map, they call it. Which works. Okay, so yeah. See, there you go. They let you know you missed something you could have found. I was gonna say, I thought it was something like that. It's a question mark. Who knows what it could be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just go. So yeah, there you go. That's how it works. And there you go. If you stop on a wiggler without turning it over, you don't kill it, it just gets mad. That's great, little buddy. So happy for you getting mad and such. So glad to see these worms still have emotions. Eh, I've never been much for emotional wiggers. Can you? All right. Did Wario rub off on you? Who? Never, never mind, Mario. God damn it. Uh. People still remember that joke. I'd imagine they do. The fact that there was a one time that Nintendo social media was trying to uh, do a weird thing for a Wednesday to celebrate Wigglers for some reason. They're just trying to be 
funny and cute. Unfortunately, it backfired because instead of typing in Wiggler, they typed in Wigger. <laughs> they forgot the L. Oh, God. And, well, the internet never forgets. But, yeah, for those of you that don't know, Wigger is basically... C is, a, is used as a slight derogatory term for white, you know. Mario, don't you dare try to say it. Say what? Sorry, I just can't trust you, Mario. I, something back my head just makes me think you're going to say something. What? I love you. Look at these 70 coins. It tastes so good. I don't even have 70. Screw you, bro. Oh, think you buy 70 coins and bring them here for me to eat? Seriously, these motherfuckers. Man, I heard of gold diggers. This is just ridiculous. Uh-oh. I don't have enough coins. Uh-oh. Do I not have enough money? Oh, shit. You fuckers. Well, that sucks. So, yeah, if you don't have enough, um, coins or whatever you need, time has been wasted. Oh, the sign of the, uh, the buzz saws are safe. Good to know. The only thing that sucks about the coins, though, is that you need to actually... Ow! Go out of your way to keep collecting them. And when you die, while your star bits carry over, your coins do not. Alright, so I gotta get some coins over here before I go over there. Duly noted. Yeah, the only thing that stinks though about the coins compared to the star bits is that the coins are pretty strict. So you actually have to make sure you, you know, know what you're looking for in regards to the coins. Ugh. <sighs> It's a more annoying thing, but it encourages more exploration. Like I said, coins are important. Where they meant literally nothing in the first Mario Galaxy, this game they actually mean something. And it can be a little irritating at times to remember that. God. It feels like they didn't think this one through all the way. The fact I can just do the music at double time. It just doesn't sound right. The Super Mario World theme it doesn't sound right. The music going like that. Oh, what am I down? Ah, those are the coins I missed. I need five from there. I can't see. They want you to get like every single coin here. Like, yeah, they take a shit seriously. They do hunting down these coins. It is nuts. But hey, it's the things this game likes to do now. They want you to really know where to find all this stuff. I encourage the hunting. Ugh. It just be nice if the control stick would go the way I want it to. Hmm, I feel like I'm recovering already. Like I said, though, this game puts me in a good mood. It's easy to recover from my hangover or whatever once I ask you to look at this game and enjoy my time with it. Oh. Yeah, sorry. I think my drinking has gotten out of control. Anyway, let's get these coins for the third goddamn time. Yeah, I do sometimes actually look out at the sky if I'm feeling down. Like, wondering, like, what all the stars are, whether they're planet or not, or if they're just, you know. If you can actually see a constellation among it, it can be kind of cool. And yeah, I've never really been one for trying to study or actually try to memorize what the constellations are. I haven't been that into the stars to actually go that far, but eh. It's at least nice to do if you ever look in the sky at night and are curious. Now hurry up and eat this gold, you gold digger! I'm gonna transform! Ow! There. Find out the coins for it. Huh. Why does that tree feel familiar? I don't know, but I should go find out. Oh, they got the Cloud Mario here. Hmm. Yeah, something about this feels very familiar. That's another thing about this Mario game that not too many people are a big fan of, but I can appreciate it being around the way it is. How do you like a lot of throwback stuff for the first game? Except instead of Feed Mario, we have Cloud Mario this time around. So, yep. We got throwbacks to having this boss 
Except instead of having Bee Mario to fly around and land on him, now you gotta use Cloud Mario. So, yeah, nice to have a different take on it. It is different enough. Besides, more bosses this game, old or new. I always appreciate it when they bring basically more. I don't care if it's old stuff. At least they remix it. It's it's nice and fast, and you know they different enough, so it at least feels different from the previous run. So I appreciate. It. Oh yeah, drop bombs now. Yeah, I don't remember if that's something they did in the first game or not. Either way, you're still the same stupid bug you've always been. A dead bug. Thank you for playing with me, but I don't have time for you. There's one thing I don't like dealing with the games, it's bugs. Woo! Sorry. <laughs> I've, I've realized that was going to be a problem. Then that's why I'm not a big Animal Crossing fan. I don't, I'm not really that much of a life sim fan either. I thought I was when I liked The Sims back on PC, but you know, the more I think about it, the less and less I've been urged to play those kind of games. I like more of the casual, like, relaxation games that are more like, like little, like, games and stuff, mini games, stuff like that. Not so much like trying to live out the life of somebody. It just, I don't know. I like to use video games as an escape. I don't really like in the literal sense of, like, living another life for myself. I don't know. I just don't really like that idea myself. Hightail Falls Galaxy. We're going to Hot Stepping Dash Pepper. But, yeah. I mean, hey, no problem with the people that do like that kind of thing. I just, you know, I can't really see myself doing it all that much. I've tried it before. It's it's all right, but for me, it's a feel like so much of a chore. I just can't really get full enjoyment out of it. That's just me, though. If you like using it as an escape, hey, it's perfectly fine. I got no problem with that. Climb fast! Climb fast? What do you mean by that? Spicy pepper. Ah! What the fuck? Damn! Alright, so nice to know that Yoshi cannot deal with spicy foods. Oh, shit. So, yeah! Yoshi has some power-ups in this game as well. Temporary, but that's beside the point. In case you read a former, formal tutorial about how it works. To control dash, Yoshi! Tilt the controls to get the direction you want to go. So, yep. You basically swallow the paper with Yoshi and he just goes crazy. Just try to get him to run like crazy. Just don't. That, oh, God, no! <laughs> that did not go the way I intended. But don't worry, it does respawn, so don't worry about that. And yeah, if you jump while running up on a wall, it doesn't work out well. You can also chain these, if you so choose, but... Well, I wouldn't worry about that. So yeah, don't jump with Yoshi while you're running up a wall. But yep, he basically run up walls. Kind of like how, you know, you know I run with Mario off those weird, um... Ramped walls in Super Mario World. See? This game even does Sonic better than Sonic can. Oh, I, I will still say at this point, Frontiers is at least a nice different step in the right direction. I thought it was pretty cool, at least. Either way, I think I said the same thing about Lost World. The more I think back on it, the more I don't look back on it as fondly. Eat all the Goombas! And again, I've always had a soft spot for Sonic, I'm aware of that. I thought the games could still be good, damn it. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. Gar though, you like that blue fuck. Mario, shut up. Look, it could be worse. It could? I could like Bubsy. Fair point. See? All it takes is mentioning Bubsy, you realize it could definitely be worse. I was gonna say, I thought there was gonna be um, a blue moon or something. Oh, there is! You can also end this mode immediately by jumping off him. Also, no, you actually forcefully jump off him. He will not vanish, which is good. He only vanishes if you get hit while riding him. Damn, these gold digging Lumas? I can't believe these guys actually eat this stuff. Seriously! 
They have to go out of their way to eat all the money I've gathered. Ew! So then they can just blow up and be a waste of space. Like, seriously. Oh, yeah, another thing to mention. I forgot to mention so far. If there's water that Mario can swim in as if it's deep enough, Yoshi will die. He cannot deal with deep water. Notice I say deep. Shell, he is fine with. But if it's deep enough where he can't swim, he drowns. It's weird. A lot of the games, Yoshi cannot swim. I wonder why they made that a thing. Yet, yeah, Super Mario 64 DS, which I guess is not really considered canon, if that's the way you want to phrase it. He can swim, because they wanted to make everybody play like Mario in that game, so... Yeah. <laughs> it just feels so weird to me that, in most normal circumstances, Mar Yoshi drowns. It's pretty fucked up when you think about it. This poor dinosaur, Mario sacrifices him to go over cliffs and makes him drown when, you know, he has to go through water. Hey, he lost his usefulness. You're such an asshole. I knew that already, though. Now, we can go to the next Hungry Luma out there. Well, isn't that nice? It is nice every single map has a different structure as well. She look at the levels somewhat differently. Hi, I have a letter for you. Oh, great. So what is it this time? Oh, an invitation. Hey, remember me? I got a new game over here in the Fluffy Bluff Galaxy. Come on by, we'll do the whole introductions thing. I want to see what kind of game skills you got. The chip. All right, fine. Why not? Come see you next time. It's a mail delivery. So, yeah. Now the chip has officially given us in a letter of introduction and challenge, I guess you could put it. So... Yep, basically look for the galaxy where his icon shows up. And he'll let you know the letter as well. It see it's its own separate mission as well, I think. You can get some extra missions through this as well. There's not too many of his, but they're there. The Chip Stomp Challenge. At least not you like to, to find him hidden in a level or anything like that. At least most of the time. I mean, those are special circumstances, but... Yep, here's... Something fun they like to do using the chip. He likes to test your skills. Then again, he thinks he's all that and a bag of chips. But the truth is, he's not. Hey, pal, don't run from me. Where do you think you're going? Say, hey, I'm the greatest game player in the galaxy. They call me the chip. Nice mustache. I've got a high score of 10,000 on this game here. Pretty simple. Just stop the enemies and grab coins. If you can match or top my score, I'll give you a star. And some respect. Maybe. So you gave her what? Nah, I'm good. Yeah, I'd be pretty intimidating, I know. Come on, give it a try. No, I'm good, really. I'd be pretty intimidating, do it! All right, five! You guys earned 10,000 points. Good luck, you're gonna need it, pal. So, you have a time challenge. Rack up points by stomping multiple enemies without touching the ground. Spin in midair and change stomp. Except you can also try to do spins to make it so you can more easily stomp on enemies in a row. And you can find the special things, you can get more coins that way. And a lot more points. You also... You can also try to take the time to... Well... Spin at enemies, but it doesn't get you nearly as many points. Be sure to grab the coins from the enemies as well before they disappear. You can basically get extra points at it, but... The chain zombie is what gets you more points than anything. Yeah, yep, just a note, you do not get any points from Star Bits. Ow! <clears throat> but... Oh! Right, you do get 100 points from spinning at enemies, but the chain stopping is what gets you more of your points, so... That's really what I want to pay attention to. Damn it! I mean, if you realize you can't chain stop an enemy, just spin them, then. Well, no, no, no. Right, you do get coins from them, so... Right, what am I thinking? Yo, Koopa! Damn you! Yeah, it feels like I'm having a bad run. It's fine. I'll get the rest of my points up here easily. I think I get a thousand for her, though. The one up as well. So, yeah, basically, hopefully, you're good at stomping. Yep. Ow! Damn, there's so many of them! Yeah, this is an easy spot to keep a chain going. Ow! Get your coins so you don't die, idiot. 
Okay, there we go. You missed a coin. You bum. Fuck you. Oh, and extra coins as well. See, as long as you're relatively quick with it and know what you're doing for the most part, this isn't that hard. Just make sure you grab the coins and stop a lot. Fantastic! That's 12,800 points. You might be an amazing rival to my own skill. Here is your star. I feel like I can't figure out your voice. It happens to be a lot, doesn't it? How did I appear more than a thousand year door has me trying to hop between too many voices at once? You're pretty good. You racked up 12,000 here at 10 points. Come back if you want to crack a high score. Yep, you can always come back and try to get your best score or whatever. Not that it's that big a deal, but eh. You really want to do it again just to test yourself? Why not, right? Thanks, chimp. You freaking crazy party monkey. But yep, you make you learn some challenge from him, so be prepared for that. Now the galaxy is complete. Good. So, thanks for the challenge. Oh, now what? Oh no, you are gonna feel those power stars, huh? We'll keep track of how many you've got. Which now they have a side for you to look at directly. That's it. The side next to the helm right there. It'll also show you the whereabouts of some other power stars if you're interested. Even though I would already know that. See, so yeah, it basically allows you to see the star list without having to pause. Don't forget the crowds basically show you completed the stage. So, there's nothing else to get in those, and I do mean that. For now. <coughs> and there we go. That star list is nice to have on hand in case you really need to know. Now, I should probably go back and complete that other stage I left behind. But speed run this bitch. Oh, yeah, I gotta be able to look out for the common metal as well. Ooh. I forgot about that, too. Damn it. This is why I hate having to go back to the second mission first. Because I forget about the comet metal stuff. Alright, then. Dang it, this is definitely a great level when it comes to the idea of speedrunning. Ow! Well, already failed. <laughs> already missed so much because of that. I liked him instead of the Goomba. I don't feel right. Yeah, think of the idea of all these galaxies out here. I would have thought there'd be all this flying around. Not me. So how about we just run along? Go! Damn, dude. I didn't realize Yoshi could run on speed like this. And again, there's so much I don't know about Yoshis. The amount of food they can eat is sometimes astounding to me. Like, jeez. I didn't think Yoshi would gain power similar to that of, like, Wario, that whatever he eats makes him just go nuts. Yeah, just to note, these platforms, they won't start going down until you actually, yeah, land on them. So landing on them is what actually gets them to start falling. So use that to your advantage and try to make sure you don't put yourself in a dangerous situation. Oh, that was close. And just note, if Yoshi hits a wall or something, he will fall. So, be careful about that as well. And again, don't jump when you're running on a wall. I was tempted. I had to remind myself. Ah! You fucker, you killed me! And, oh wow, look at that, he used his egg get back. No! <laughs> he saved himself. He saved himself and killed you. How's that feel, Mario? To know you were the one sacrificed for him to live on. I'm a kill him! I'm a fucking kill him! Mario, relax. Jeez, dude, it's not that big a deal. You just, you know what they say, what goes around comes around. Oh shit! I guess if you die, you lose the common metal. Good to know. Alright, so I'll keep that in mind. You have to actually make it to the end of the stage after getting the common metal or get to a checkpoint. Huh. Neat. There we go. I made the turn the right way this time. Alright then. One more for the road! Oh jeez. They've been amazed at the end of this too. And you hit the wall. Well, at least they try to make it so you don't die from being a wall in this one. Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> I don't need that fucking Yoshi, that piece of shit! He tried to kill me! Oh, now look who's mad, huh? That's such a shame that you got killed off just so he could live. Gee. 
Who would have thought that'd be such a bad thing? It's totally evil! I don't want Yoshi in my game anymore! Wow. You are incorrigible. By the way, I should have this episode here. I didn't want it to get this long, but then again, I kept dying. So, come back next time, and we will explore even more of the galaxies out here in World 2. Which, by the way, I do have, like, a checkpoint in the file to basically tell you, like, the the part of the game has changed, but eh, it's not that big a deal. We're just gathering stars. It's basically the same thing that happens all the time. We're gathering stars, nothing really changes. Mario's just an asshole trying to prove his own strength. But I'm trying to save a princess! There's a lot of narcissists about the way you go about it. Yeah, whatever you say.